let me ask you this, Dana, because obviously we're talking about Oscar De La Hoya venturing into your territory mm -hmm. from the sport of boxing. That's basically what he's alluding to. Right. What about and Dana then, White? I mean, then, I mean, you doing the UFC, have you thought about venturing in to boxing territory to just absolutely. show what you can do? Have you thought about that? Are you, are you entertaining that? Absolutely, 100%. And, and we're working on that right now as we speak. Um, and I'll probably have some announcements and, and hopefully the next four or five months. Um, yeah, I, listen, I, I can do anything better than Oscar De La Hoya. Believe me. Uh, so, believe me, we're, we're going to be competing with you too, big guy. Um, and, and there's plenty of, of uh, other organizations out there. And, and if you're a young fighter and you're up and coming, all you have to do is look at this guy, talk to this guy, this, there's plenty of places to go than to be with Oscar but, De La Hoya. But, but, but see, but see that's where, but that's where I'm going. I, I got it. He's an idiot. He's a moron. Yep. This is what you said. And he's a liar. Let's 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 say okay, that too. Okay, he's a okay, liar. okay. Thank and you throw it all out there. But again, right. do you accept any? Uh, listen, do you, Dana White, mm -hmm. accept any culpability? In, 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 in this friction that presently exists because you went as far as to call a guy a cokehead, Dana. That's yeah. not you, Dana. Yeah, you don't the, do that. You know what? If you want to come battle with me, this is what you're going to get. I've been this way since the day, you know, we're, we're putting on this big event, big fight. I've, I've promoted some of Oscar's fights, and he's done the same for us for UFC fights. Then he comes out and tells people, do not watch this event. It will kill boxing. You shouldn't do this and that. Who, who does that? That seems to be the key. Who that, does that? That seems to be what lit the fire under you, that he was worried about your business instead of just minding right. his own, you, literally listen, minding his own business. The, the, the guy had Canelo versus Triple G coming up. A great fight, a fight that you loved, with two yeah. great fighters. Right. Promote your fight. Don't worry about what we're doing over here. Let me ask you this about Oscar, though. Could you give him any credit along these lines? In the history of boxing, fighters always went, almost always, went broke after their careers. Right never really um, got back into the business on the side where they could earn money as a promoter. Oscar really trailblazed, even if Eric Schaefer put the business together, Oscar trailblazed, and, and then he made his, his opponents partners, Bernard Hopkins, Shane Mosley, yep. and he established, uh, uh, so far, a lasting promotional did outfit he, as a former fighter. Did he do that? Did he do that? When you listen to this guy talk, do you really think that he did that? Wait a minute, uh, Dana. A, th there was a lot of smart people... And, and Richard Schaefer was the guy. You can ask I anybody said, in the industry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. I kept saying so, Richard Schaefer. The, the, the other thing Sorry, is, Richard. the other thing is, um, let's see where he goes from here. He just showed in this last fight, which he's lying about too, how successful this fight was. Let's see what this guy can do without HBO. Well, they, well, well, well wait a minute, Dana. I got to get on you about that because, listen, here's the reality. You might be the face, he might be the face of Golden Boy Promotions. Richard Schaefer, as you pointed out, Max, might be yep. the brains behind it. But it's finding somebody to delegate responsibility to. I'm an, I'm an on-air talent. You're an on-air talent, Max. You know what? You, you, we delegate responsibilities to others in terms of buffering our careers. You've done that with the UFC. You've done a lot, Dana. There's no doubt about that. But there are people you've delegated responsibilities to. So you don't want to strip Oscar from, or, with credit in that regard. But here's the question that I have for you. Just like Max just brought brought up how he's made boxers somewhat partners. What about you with your UFC fighters? Have you done that with some fighters out there? Are yeah. you interested in doing that with fighters out there? Yeah, no, we, we've never had a fighter come in as a partner in the business. But what we I'm not have talking about come in, but once it's over. You know, like yeah. a Bernard Hopkins, like Max no, alluded but to. We, what others. we've done is we've put guys on salary, you know, okay. Chuck Liddell, Matt Hughes, Forrest Griffin. Um, Got it. And, and after they retire, we continue to do stuff for them like appearances. And, you know, in, me, in that Chuck Liddell number that, that we were talking, that, that was uh, royalties on stuff that we've sold and things like that, um, uh, a salary and appearances that we've gotten for him. So oh, the, way, the, uh, the so, way I keep oh, saying Eric, Rick is a director, Richard Schaefer, the way he – built the business early was he used Oscar's leverage with HBO, the network at the time, mm -hmm. to say, if you want Oscar to fight on your network, right. we need a certain number of dates for the yep. Golden Boy fighters. Yep. Al Heyman did the same thing with Floyd Mayweather. They both built up businesses that way. It, now, the UFC is a lot like the NFL in the sense that as big a star as there might be, it's really about the UFC brand more than any one fighter. It's very different from boxing that way. Do you 
see any threat of any fighter getting big enough where they could start leveraging their own kind of shows by saying, hey, I'll fight for you. Would you ever cut that deal? Listen, I'm not saying, listen, Conor McGregor is the perfect example. Mm -hmm. Conor McGregor has been a partner with us, you know, ever since this kid blew up. And when you have guys that become stars that are that big, um, yeah, yeah. You gotta face listen, the reality. Yeah, yeah. The, no, you, 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 you work with these guys at the end of the day, in your business, you want to make everybody happy. You, it, it's, it's an impo I have 550 fighters under contract. You can't make everybody happy, but you try. You try the best that you can to make every fighter happy, and uh, that's how you run the business.